what is your view now on on young kids coming through? Because I know in certain leagues there's there's age restrictions on lads coming through into a first team um, division or a team in general, um, like a fourteen or fifteen year year old uh, restriction, um, even into second team cricket. So what's your view on that? Do you think if they're good enough, play them or or not? Absolutely, I, I I do. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, I think it's crucial that you you give people as earlier access to what the game's about, the better. I think we'll look at look at Rahan. What we've seen from Rahan, he's played so much cricket. Perfect example. As a, as a youngster in men's cricket, wow, he's he's got his hours in. They talk about ten thousand hours. He's got his ten thousand hours in. Um, he's understood his game. He's understood him as a person. And I think I think you need that, and we need challenging. Yeah. Um, you know, we talk about you know, this sort of snowflake sort of generation in a way, you know, it doesn't have much challenge compared to the challenges. Yes, there's challenges this around social media and what's happening with social media, which is, you know, positives and negatives. But, um, you know, I think we all need challenging. Yeah. And, and I think it's really healthy for us. Um, and we can reflect on it and move forward and, and learn from it and not, not dwell on it. Yeah, um, it builds a maturity in your game. Yeah, definitely. Um, and understanding and maturity and, and actually, you know, we know that three quarters of the time in professional sport or in sport, you, you, you're going to lose. Oh, yeah. um, and actually you build that, you know, that, that, that inner strength to, and desire to, to win. Yeah. Because obviously you threw Rahal into the team quite a young lad, was he? was 16 on debut? Yeah. What made you think that he was ready at that stage? More his character. More his character, purely because he always had a smile on his face. He was always up for the challenge. In net, he would try things. He had no fear about anything. He was always the same. Every day, day in, day out, smile on his face, want to give energy to the team, want to, want to do well himself, want to put a show on. And he's a sportsman. He always always wanted to be him balling the last ball. Uh, always wanted to be him hitting a six to win the game. Always wanted to be him. In a, yeah, competitive. Everything he did. Every throw that he throws in, he throws it in for his life. From 15 yards, from 35 yards, or from 45 yards, 70 yards, every throw, he means it. And that tells you a lot. That tells you a lot as a coach. The body, watching the body language, just watching the ways around other people, um, he was ready. He was ready. And, um, you know, even if he wasn't quite ready, but I think he was ready, even if he wasn't quite ready, it's nice to see how he is as a coach. You, 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 you put him in, you give him the opportunity, have a look. He knows what he's got to be. You know, when I first went in, I wasn't ready. You know, I missed chances. I wasn't ready, but that made me go away and go, wow, that's how hard I've got to work. That's how consistent I've got to be. This is what type of block I've got to be. Um, you know, my discipline of my uniform, my timings, my, how I am respectful around the group, you know, uh, from not sitting in David Gower's seat or somebody else's seat or just the respect you give other, other people. It's crucial. And the learnings you get from that as a youngster, fantastic. 